Indian Muslim cleric arranged for the murder of a man for quote unquote hurting religious sentiments. On January 25th, Kishan Bolia was shot by two men in retaliation for a Facebook post he made on January 6th. Kishan's post was considered objectionable and hurtful towards the religious feelings of the Muslim community. Two Muslim clerics, Muhammad Ayub uh, Javrawala and Malvi uh, Kam Kama Kamar Ghani Usmani, were arrested on January 28th for the murder of Kishan. Uh, two other suspects, 25-year-old Shabir Chopta uh, and 27-year-old Mtiaz uh, Pathan, were arrested later the same day following the cleric's arrests. Usman runs an organization whose goal is to oppose anyone who insults the Prophet Muhammad. According to Mtiaz Sheikh, police superintendent of the anti-terrorism squad, there is proof of the cleric Usmani uh, contacting the alleged murderers via Instagram. Allegedly, Usmani arranged for one suspect to acquire a gun and arranged for him to contact the other suspected murderer. As of February 5th, a total of eight persons have been arrested in connection to the murder, and the police are treating this incident as an act of terror. Okay, all these mentions of guns and killing and stuff. YouTube, that's not us talking. We're just reading the news, okay? Don't come at us, okay? But what, I, I, okay, do these people not... Like, how hurt are they that they are risking their... Like, if, if you just put away the human the humanist part of it like are they not worried about themselves like are they really that hurt because they they, they would have probably got caught right and go to jail for all of this like they should have they probably knew this but they still took the risk like are they genuinely that hurt that they're just gonna right. throw away like i like let alone the p people that they killed like them their own lives are also going to be screwed for the rest of their lives they're going to go to jail they're, they're going to be like their families are going to now be away from them for the rest of their lives like was they like i'm sure they they knew that and they still went away with this like how hurt could you be with just like like how do this like i'm trying to understand how could people be so hurt by just mere like expression of ideas like why is this a thing yeah, Mustafa is basically saying the same thing. Like, I wonder what these plans were for afterwards, right? Yeah. Um, I think, I don't know, maybe there's the possibility that, because um, based on reports that I've read, um, particularly the men who were recruited to actually commit the murder, um, were pretty radicalized. So mm -hmm. they probably believe that any punishment they face is worthwhile for protecting the honor of the prophet and, um, you know, that they will be rewarded in the hereafter for right. their efforts. Oh, so that's Mustafa, that's, that's Mustafa's answer. What was the, what was these people's plans for? Where do you, uh, I was reading it. Where did you, oh, sorry. It? What, I wonder what these people's plans are for afterwards. I guess afterwards includes eternity in heaven, right? So maybe that's the plan. But yeah, what was the other thing? Uh, Jannah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Jannah means heaven in Arabic. It's it's absolutely wild. Like I would be really remiss if we didn't talk about this story um, because we talk about so many um, issues happening in India, particularly coming from the extremism, coming from the hinduism faction of things um to not cover a story like this because like a blasphemy killing a blasphemy murder in 2022 in india like it's not that common it happens i mean what, what we've talked about more recently is um more from what happens with extreme circumstances with the Sikh community um yeah and this is insane. Like I've, I haven't, I was researching online. I haven't been able to find any um, more detailed explanation about what this, you know, super offensive post was um, that warranted this. But what's crazy is that there was a report that was released um, about two days ago that said that 
some of these people involved in this conspiracy to commit murder had actually planned to kill a different dude over sharing a similar post. And they went to that guy's house to go murder him over the Facebook post that was, again, objectionable and hurting their religious sentiments in some ways, but they couldn't actually kill him because he happened to be in jail for some reason. Wow. And then what the hell? I was diverted and then they ended up going to this guy so there it, like like i said now there are eight people who have been arrested in connection to this murder and so this was like a network that was conspiring to go after people who were you know insulting the prophet in some way it's crazy okay, look. Wait, go on oh jim garland is saying the seat community really yes yeah. they, they committed they murder there were two lynchings in the span of one week like you less should than two follow us ago. jim you should we cover these news okay yes actually like the Sikh community has committed more murder than the muslim community in india in the past recently right? Have, haven't they uh well blasphemy like, related what? murder that i am familiar Bla yes last time, sorry. blasphemy related murder which is like amazing because there's a lot more Muslims in India. So I don't understand how the Sikh community has managed to achieve that. So that's a new record for I them. I mean, it, over, you know, to be fair, like statistically, I don't know what it is over time. This is just like right. within the past year. Recent, yeah, past yeah. year. Um, so we don't know, do we know if the person that was the victim of this murder, were they like Hindu or what were they, like atheist or? it's not a clear to me it wasn't really mentioned in any of the stories maybe people who are more familiar with the names like kishan bolia like would well, know we don't know what kind it, of it could be atheist i mean atheists could like well atheists yeah in india they, could have like, hindu or likely, muslim backgrounds yeah, yeah that's what i was about to say they probably have a specific background um oh they were hindu okay yeah so okay, this is obviously I'm, yeah, Go ahead. I'm worried. I'm worried about uh, somebody else is saying he was Hindu. I'm worried about now, like retaliation, and then retaliation to that retaliation and stuff, stuff like that, right? Because if you know, I don't know, like if it was Hindu, like I'm, I'm wondering if a lot of Hindus are gonna watch this and gonna be like, this is why we need like a Hindu Hindu restaurant or whatever, like, like oh, we're gonna now go like go back, like they're gonna use this as an excuse to go back. Uh, I don't know. You know all the hate speech rallies yeah, that they yeah, yeah. have. And, yeah. So this is going to be fuel for that for that fire. It's going to be a very convenient um, political tool, and it, it's 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 also important to note that this did happen in Gujarat, which is where in 2002, you know, there was the mass um, communal violence that took thousands of lives, primarily Muslim, and so it's an area that's known for. Um, you know, really kind of has the potential to be a tinderbox. Okay, so random Buddhist guy apparently saying our numbers are not correct. Is this like, is it so you're saying how seek 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 lynchings Muslim seven last year? Really seven? I don't know. Well, if, if that's the case, I stand corrected, you know. Okay, yeah, um, we, yeah, if that's the case, then we didn't know seven seven in one year okay we don't know if that's true guys we'll um I'm yeah was it specific it yeah i would actually i'm very curious if it was specifically like blasphemy related but anyways related. um i think okay. one thing that was also interesting to note when i was looking into this um was that um oh blank name is saying i heard that he was an atheist or rationalist uh, okay so we don't know guys we don't know yeah. but go um what was i saying Oh yeah, so one thing that was interesting was that um, a portion, a very controversial part of law called the UAPA, which is um, ostensibly like an anti-terror law, but it's been used and enforced in many ways that are um, basically like it's been used against journalists. It's just been, it's been used against dissidents. So it's it's the UAPA is um, notorious for being misused to silence dissent and basically. Um, accuse people of sedition for just, you know, voicing their criticism or dissent from the government. Um, but the UAPA was actually invoked in this case. And I think I was like, I think this might be one of the first like appropriate usages of this that I've heard so far. Um, because 
personally, I, I think considering this an act of terror, like isn't, um, I don't, I don't think that's entirely inappropriate. Um, there apparently there's been reports that they're going to be looking into that's the true. funding of all these people. And it was a conspiracy to commit murder for, yeah. um, criticism of religion. That's insane. Like I consider mm. that a form of terrorism. Certainly. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is, obviously, because of the motivation is religious. By the way, like, when we call something an act of terrorism, it's not because of how um, the gravity of it is because of the nature of the motivations, right? Like, some people think if you don't call something an act of terror, mm. you're saying it wasn't that big of a deal, right? You could massacre, like, 50 people, and if it was over personal issues, it wouldn't be a terrorism, and you could, like an attempt to kill one person and failing at it could have been an act of terror if, if the motivation was political or religious for some reason. Right. So people think like definitely like not calling something, not calling something an act of terror means that you're like saying it wasn't that big of a deal. The intensity of it is not what makes something an act of terror or not. It's the motivation. Right. So this was obviously over religion. Uh, so this is an act of terror. That makes a lot of sense for it to be an active terror um why like how what was the distance between the first attempt at murdering the other guy who was in jail and this guy um how quickly it happened that wasn't clear based on the report that i read but okay, okay. it seemed it seemed like a short period of time okay so we'll read this one kiki is saying Kiki is saying the victim was a Hindu who posted a less than 15 minute clip portraying the greatness of the Hindu god Krishna over Jesus and Muhammad. He was from BJP. Mm. I can't verify this. We're getting a lot of different stories about yeah, the background we're getting of different, this person. We're getting different information about In that. English speaking media, I wasn't able to find consistent reporting about his background or what he posted. So I'm not going to make any claims about that. Regardless right, of this. what it was, I promise you it didn't warrant his murder. Yeah, no, but Jim the, Garland is saying y'all don't know what you are talking about, in my opinion. All right, which is interesting because Jim is the one that was just clueless about the fact that Sikhs had any uh, blasphemy lynchings. So the the most clueless person in our live chat is telling us that we are we don't know what we're talking about. That's amazing. The, the amount of hypocrisy. Is amazing. Well, Jim, I mean, it would also help if you could write a complete sentence. Yeah, like, no, he can't. All right. It's amazing how the, the dumbest people are usually the most confident ones. Uh, it's amazing how that works. Well, appropriately so, you know. Um, yeah. Oh, one thing before we move on that I do want to note is I think that our, so when we are writing stories for our news or when we're putting them on the titles for our mainstreams, like, we have to deal with character restrictions. And so I feel like the title that we had to choose to go on our website being Indian Muslim cleric kills man for hurting religious sentiments is slightly misleading because he didn't actually kill him himself. He just arranged for a murder. Um, I don't know. What do you think about that? Um, wait, I don't know. I don't know. Can you ask that again? So people could say that our title that we had to choose for the website right. because we have a strict character limit is misleading because this cleric didn't actually kill this man himself. He just arranged for the murder, but I don't have enough characters when I'm picking a title to actually make a fully descriptive. Title. I mean, I mean, if I, I mean, he, if I order somebody, I don't know if I'm the head of the mafia and go like make, make get, go get, take care of that guy. Even if my, I physically didn't do it, people will say you, you can't like, you know, it's kind of like saying, oh, Stalin didn't kill anybody. I mean, it wasn't technically him that mm. was pulling the triggers. Like, well, we don't talk like that. Yeah, he did. Okay. I think so, sometimes my skepticism le leads me to be overly specific. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and no, it's the title. We can't put like an essay in the goddamn title. But Hindu mm -hmm. Susanna is saying the victim had a 20 days old daughter. Oh, my God. Is that true? Oh, my it's God. Horrible. If true, that's heartbreaking. Yes. Overall, it's like really unfortunate, and um, yeah, this is this is not going to end well politically at all. And I just feel terrible for that person's family. I it drives me insane that people get murdered for this kind of stuff anywhere in the world, but it feels particularly unusual in India. <coughs> yeah, and then uh, and what's going to happen is now 
you know, these people are also going to make it very difficult for Muslims in India, right? Because there's going to be a lot more hatred now against Muslims as well in India. Muslims that had nothing to do with this. So there's that. Um, anyways. Yeah. Guys, India. India is like short term is looking not looking good. Oh, you want to read this one before we go to the next one? Kiki is saying, at least in India, the, um, I think ATS stands for anti-terrorism squad. Um, the ATS will promptly jail people like this cleric. Had it been the Germany, the UK, or especially Sweden and Canada, everyone else would have been, everybody else would have been called Islamophobes. Okay. <laughs> As a Canadian, how do you take this, Armin? You're suggesting that they wouldn't promptly go to jail in Canada? Like they, they would be like, what are you? No, okay, no, Kiki. Okay, so yes, there are like baseless accusations of Islamophobia in these countries, but I'm pretty sure if an imam or anybody else was involved in murder in any of the countries that you mentioned, the police would not be like, well, well, we can't arrest this guy. He's a Muslim. What, what are you talking about, Kiki? They would get immediately arrested if it was proven that they were involved in a murder. Like, I don't know what world you live in, okay? Like, you're suggesting that that doesn't, like, at least in India, the, the ATS will promptly, will promptly jail people like the, this cleric. Like, so you think if this happened in Canada, the Canadian police would just let this man go? What are you talking about? So, you know, like you're saying they would be treated with kid gloves. Yeah, but you're suggesting, I don't know. Okay, any, they would get arrested though. You said at least in India, they got promptly arrested. I don't know what you mean. Like you're not defining what you mean. They would be treated with kid gloves. Like in general, in these countries, the jail situation is a lot more humane than other countries. So everybody gets treated better in jail in Canada. Then re relative to these third world, I think Kiki is referring to, you know, um, when there are people who are giving warning signs of violent radical extremism, not having the like ceases no, to go after. You're making it better. Okay, can. why are you making different it different? Because this person already committed something. So. Yeah, you're making it. You're making it better. You're making a better point. He's he, he's suggesting that in, like he said, at least in India, they got promptly arrested. I have news for you. In Canada, when you commit murder, you get promptly arrested. Okay, I don't know what you thought happens in Canada. If you commit murder in Canada, you get promptly arrested. Okay? That's how it works. It doesn't matter if you're Muslim or not. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Abhabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.